Hello my friends, this is Mike again with another short video from Seawater Pro. In this video we're going to talk about the optional control panel. Um, uh, but let's backtrack for a minute and let's talk about the uh, connection from the pump to the membrane. Which is the same whether you have a control panel or not. Uh, I don't know if I mentioned in the other video, but by default you get six feet of high pressure hose that goes that connects the high pressure pump to the membrane. If you need more, let us know. Uh, six feet are included in the kit. Any more than six feet is ten dollars per. Feet. So we are going to go ahead and connect uh, the high pressure pump to the membrane input. Again, the input is where the O-ring is in the membrane when we install it. Uh, if, you know, if you don't know what I'm talking about, watch the previous video. Uh, again, the flow is marked here, so we come in with the from the pump from here, follow the arrow, and then uh, when you receive the, uh, the membrane housing, the membrane is pre-installed now. We didn't used to do that before, but we do it now, and here's why. Uh, instead of the uh, vacuum form, uh, bag that kept the membrane nice and fresh. Now we're keeping it fresh by uh, capping all the ports. So when you get the membrane, all the ports are capped. So it is kept uh, with the factory preservative without evaporating. So what you do is you disconnect the cap and there's also another cap here which is for the fresh water. On this one, this is a, a quick connect. We have to push back on the ring and then pull out. It's maybe a little tricky because there isn't a lot of room here, but you have to push back on the ring and pull the cap. And eventually you will get it out. And that's where the fresh water, again, this cap is to keep the, the membrane from drying out. Now we remove this cap, we're gonna run a line from here. It's a 3 8 line and it will go to the bottom of the flow meter. The flow meter flows from the bottom to the top and we'll get right back at that and and there's one more connection here we'll remove this cap and this is where we're going to install another six foot high pressure hose that comes only if you buy the remote control panel uh, this is also uh, this can be done any size we make this in-house so if you need more than six feet let us know again we're going to connect this this uh, flare fitting here. Uh, the way to deal with these flare fittings because they are, they do not have O-rings in here. Uh, we choose to not to use the O-ring style because every time you uh, you disconnect an O-ring style uh, high pressure hose, you need to put a new O-ring. These are metal to metal, stainless to stainless, and require to be very very tight. So uh, this is the trade-off between the O-ring style and the straight. Find my wrenches. Oh, yeah. So what you'll need is a uh, 11 16 and a 5 8 wrench. The uh, 5 8 goes onto the fitting. This goes here, and then you gotta get this hose tight. I mean tight. You almost want to put your foot on it, and that's where you stop. Super tight. And same deal here. started and you use two wrenches one here one here now that these are tight we can move on to the next connection the next connection is the low pressure gauge. The low pressure gauge connects to here. This this is not included uh, with the when you buy the control panel because the gauge now is mounted on the control panel. So what we do is we run a line that goes from from this point to the low pressure gauge. We want this pressure just so we know if the filters are flowing. If the filters are plugged up, then there is no low pressure. We know it's time to clean or replace the filters. The other connection here is the TDS analyzer. That is also on the control panel, and the fresh water runs through this T. 
before or after the flow meter. It doesn't matter where you put this. This is again analyzes the water up to 600 parts per million. You can drink it. There's no need for a diverter valve again because we this is a real time analyzer. It analyzes the water continuously as we produce water. And uh, again, from uh, after we go through the analyzer, from here we connect this to our fresh water tank. It's a 3 8 connector. If you don't like using uh, standard size pipes, well, guess what? These come out easily. You can replace this, go to your local hardware store and find a one quarter pipe thread to any metric size you want. These are very common. Uh, although it's a uh, standard size, it's not a metric, this end, there's tons of connectors with a quarter inch thread that you can uh, change to any size hose you want. You can put a bar fitting, you can put a push to connect, and there's just so many choices out there. Uh, and uh, one more thing about the control panel, uh, we have also the switches. If you get the uh, 110 version, then the switches are covered by a box uh, to prevent any, uh, any water from getting in there. If you get the 12 volt, there is no box uh, because it's just it's a low voltage situation. We don't have to worry about it. This turns on the boost pump. This turns on the main pump. When we operate, we have both pumps on at the same time. And here's where we adjust the pressure to 800 PSI. This one we haven't marked yet, but there, there's going to be a red line right here at 800 PSI. And uh, uh, also with the, uh, with the control panel, you get about six feet of spiral steel spiral wound PVC hose. Again, this hose is spiral wound because we do not want this hose to kink. If this hose kinks because there's so much pressure behind it, it will start leaking everywhere. So, uh, and also at the end of the PVC hose, we have a through hole. This is the shorter through hole I could find for you guys. Uh, there is nothing shorter than that. They have, you can find the standard through holes. They're about yay long. I really like this one because it's short, but it's only available in black. Well, you can't have it all. If you have any questions, look at our phone number on the website. Feel free to call anytime. Watch all our videos and go have some fun. Thank you for watching. This concludes this video from Seawater Pro. Thank you.